as you saw during the test drive of the enhanced slideshow app one of the new features that this app adds over the slideshow app in the previous lesson is the ability for the user to take a picture using the device's camera uh, specifically the rear facing camera and to do that we're going to take a look at our picture taker java file which contains our picture taker activity and it is possible to use the built-in camera activity that's uh, available on all of the Android devices with cameras. However, we chose to implement our own activity here to demonstrate how you can interact with the device's camera. And that can be important, for example, if you want to do your own type of camera app, uh, or perhaps if you want to start getting into things like virtual reality as well. So let's begin by taking a look at the picture taker uh, Dot Java files import declarations and specifically you can see here at line 12 that we're importing the camera class from the android.hardware package and this of course is going to give us access to the camera APIs for interacting with the camera on a device and of course the AVD does not have a camera uh, so if you want to test out camera functionality you are going to have to install the app on a real device. Now down here here at line 15 you can see from the android.provider package that we're importing the media store.images class and that contains several different constants that are used as keys in key value pairs to represent information about a picture such as the file name for example also, uh, a class that we've used in an earlier app, the Canon app in particular, we have uh, Surface Holder and Surface View as well. When you're previewing the image that the camera is about to take, you display it on a Surface View, and remember that you manipulate a Surface View via a Surface Holder. Now down below here we begin the definition of our picture taker activity and we have a number of different instance variables in this class. Of course we have a surface view that's again where we will display the camera preview and the surface holder that will be used to manipulate the surface view. We have a boolean to indicate whether or not the camera is currently previewing. We have a camera variable that we use for uh, capturing the image data interacting with the camera. We have a list of strings called effects. Um, with each camera, the cameras support uh, typically various effects like black and white or photo negative or sepia. And we're going to store those effects in the list of strings called effects. And then at line 37, we have a list of camera.size objects called sizes that is used to represent the different preview sizes that the camera supports. And that can help you with sizing the preview on the actual device screen.